Your what up YouTube it's iPod King Carter here today I'm bringing you another tutorial for using Sony Vegas Pro 10 uh, today we're going to be chopping up some Call of Duty gameplay um, a lot of people doesn't know about you know how to make videos how to change them in Sony Vegas how to make them clean or how to make them sharper and how to you know bring HD quality to YouTube now I'm going to tell you straight off the bat this tutorial is for having a HD PVR so you if you do have a HD PVR but you don't know how to make your videos look crazy great this is what you need first off you're gonna need Sony Vegas Pro 10 um, uh, yes I do have it um a lot of people were asking me you know how did I get it in my last video just to let you know it's 600 bucks so you know if you want to check it out I advise you you know go grab it now first thing we're gonna do is go to project properties now these are the settings that you need to have I'm gonna count it down you know then I'm gonna click on each tab individually if you need to pause the video please do but these are the settings that you need okay those are the project settings that you need um, let's go straight into it you guys the first thing you want to do is for any person that's making something in Sony Vegas you want to save it in a VEG file for your own storage because if you make a mistake or or alteration you need to remember that you have the file somewhere just in case you even go over here and click close by mistake it'll always be saved so let's save it uh, all you got to do is hit save as for the project file now what you want to do is you want to put in mostly whatever you know the title is that you will be using on your video now I'm gonna put Beops Zoo which is you know the map that I played on and the gameplay that we're gonna be fixing up now once you save that it'll actually save it in the top so it'll make it very easy for yourself now what you want to do is you want to go get your gameplay um, anywhere your video files are go grab it trust me alright now as you can see I have COD zoo right here um, you want to just drag and drop it into the project media uh, don't worry about those files right here we'll get to those in a couple days don't worry <laughs> alright now um, all you want to do is enter a video track onto your timeline which is at the bottom here you want to drag it up just enough so when you drag and drop it you'll get your audio and your video okay as you can see here you know it's building the peaks for the actual video um, we're gonna wait till it gets us to 100% which is now as you can see the audio is in it um, let's play a little bit of it just so you can hear it okay now um, I know you guys are seeing a lot of ghosting right now um, but we'll fix all of that the first thing you wanna do when you're actually making Call of Duty gameplay you wanna drop in whatever you can to make the video quality better so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna right click on the timeline of the video you wanna click properties what you wanna do is you wanna uncheck maintain aspect ratio you wanna check reduce interlace flicker and you wanna disable the resample trust me it works okay now as you can see here we have this little black line which right here now the reason I changed the maintain aspect ratio is so you can crop it to however you like it now all you gotta do is I know you guys can see this little black line right here I know I know you can see it. it it irks me all you gotta do is move this over just a bit you see that now the black line is gone completely I have a preset um, what you guys want to do is you definitely want to make that yourselves also all you gotta do is name it and then click the save button right here and as you can see I have COD and NBA 2k 11 as my presets now let's get into making the video quality better now what I will do is I'll actually try to go to okay this frame right here this frame is perfect for what we're about to get into this right here is the video FX part of the video this is what actually makes the gameplay look better now I'm gonna leave a little bit of video space right there just so we can drag and drop these different formats now the first thing you want to go to is color corrector the first thing you want to do is just drag down studio RGB to computer RGB into the timeline over top of your video alright now as you can see it made it a little bit darker just a little bit 
um, this is the preset right here. Um, it's, it's, it's only a preset. You don't have to change anything to it. All right. Now, as you can see, the first thing that I did to it was pan and crop it. And the second thing I did was add color corrector. So it leaves everything in a sequence of what you're doing to the video. The next thing you want to do is go into color curves, right? Now, a lot of people may not have presets, but you want to drag down re reset to none to your video inside the timeline to make this preset. Now, I'm going to just drag in my preset, which I've named it HD. You drag it into the video. As you can see, it made it much darker and much more fixed. Now, it looks like a real room. It's not f like fuzzy and gray, but this is basically what the settings have to be for your studio. I mean, not your studio, but your color curves. You want to drag these gray lines right here where these points are and you want to drag them out to just about the same. You can you can do it to however it may look on your computer. If it, if it looks HD more, if you drag this over this way or if you drag this over that way, it's to each his own. It's, you don't have to basically copy off of my settings. These are just, you know, just to get you started. All right. Now, the next thing that we will do is get on with the actual, you know, rendering process because we're done um i will play the video a little bit it's going to play a preview half but you'll you'll get the picture okay now you guys as you can see here it looks pretty realistic uh the dude's fingers is on point um the gun looks amazing outrageous it's, it's, it just looks perfect uh, what I'm doing right now is um, I'm talking on my turtle beach headphones I know that the gameplay doesn't sound as loud as it was but that's just me changing the volume I do that from time Friendly to time oh god that guy he was waiting Friendly for that piece, I had to get him <laughs> but um, basically uh, if you want to record your audio over top of your gameplay which makes them commentaries I'll show you how to do that also all right, what you want to do is you want to enter an audio track right now all you have to do is arm it for recording which does this right here you save it to wherever you want to save it at you don't have to save it to your documents you can save it wherever now as you can see as I'm talking this little bar right here which is the in volume bar is moving because I'm talking now all you want to do is to start recording over your gameplay all you do is hit this button right here go to start and then just click record now after I click record, you can leave the volume at zero because you may need to hear the gameplay. But sometimes on certain headphones, if you're listening to the um, video, it may have too much feedback. So what I like to do is I like to bring down the audio some. Uh, I bring it down to about 25.6 dB and then I'll just hit the record button. You don't really need to hear commentary to actually see what's going on in the video. You can actually make a live com video with something you've already recorded. All right, now I just hit the record button. We're recording, you know, two, one, let's go. All right, now, as you can see, my team is running out. I'm trying to get, you know, fast paces. This is my first time on this map. Um, I'm running up the steps with this guy right here. I don't even know who he is, but hey, I'm gonna follow his lead because we got to get it done now I'm gonna put down my little claymore you know outside the room just to make sure nobody comes up behind us you know I gotta gotta make sure this is my first time on the map so hey I gotta do what I gotta do I come out here come out to the windows I gotta check you know survey the, the land real quick uh oh is that is that a noob where'd he go come here noob oh man who's that guy up there I seen somebody hold on uh oh who's that guy uh oh uh, uh got him hold up wait <laughs> basically you can make live com whichever way you choose but you know if you want to just talk about certain things you can now as you can see this is my record take one i'll play it back for you guys as loud as i can on my turtle beach headphones you should be able to hear it right now i just hit the record button we're recording you know two one let's go all right now as you can see my team is running out I'm trying to get, you know, fast paces. This is my first time on this map. Um, I'm running up the steps with this guy right here. I don't even know who he is, but, hey, I'm going to follow his lead because we got to get it done. All right, so basically that's how the commentary would sound. Um, it's pretty live. It's pretty direct. So as you can see, you still heard a lot that was going on inside the gameplay. You can change the volume if you want to, you know, depending on who you are. All right, the next thing we're going to get straight into is the rendering. Render as... 
And then as you can see, the file name is what we named the VEG file, which is COD Black Ops Zoo. It's good for uploading to YouTube, and when you have to walk away from your computer, you can actually already have that saved, so when your video uploads without you knowing it, people will know what the title is. All right, now we're gonna click on Custom. This template is my template, but what you wanna choose is six megabits HD 720 by 30 P video all right now first thing I'm going to tell you guys is save type when Windows Media Video 11 do not please do not use mp4s <laughs> that's just me I'm sorry I'm sorry I hate mp4s um, I do not use mp4s because it's hard for me to actually sit up there and wait for a rendering video and uploading it to YouTube. And when you upload MP4s to YouTube, they do not process at the same time, but WMVs do. So, you know, that's just me. All right, as you can see, um, I'm going to do the same thing like I did in the project properties. I'm going to give you about 5 to 10 seconds every tab. Um, you can pause the video if you want to, but these are my settings. Now, we're all, we've already been on the audio tab for a minute, but let's get to video. All right, you guys. Uh, these are the settings. Um, I do want to say one thing. Um, I'm gonna get to it, you know. But my man, wiser now. My main man. Just to let you know, cuz I can, and I mean I can, upload in 1080p. All right, I can. I do 720 because a lot of people can't hold down 1080p on their computers. All I got to do, my friend, is click this button right here, <laughs> and it's going to be up in that 1080p, man, just like you, man. It ain't nothing to me. Let's get it. <laughs> my fault, you guys. That was a quick shout-out. Um, That's my man, Wise, and now my partner in crime. But uh, that's it, you guys. Um, It takes about 30 minutes to render an eight-minute video, or what is this, about seven minutes. That's about seven-minute video. It takes about... 30 minutes to render and I and I tell you now it takes seven to seven and a half minutes to put on YouTube I don't know if it's my internet. I don't know what it is, but it's great now I'm gonna close this out. It's gonna save it. Yes I want to make the save and the changes because you can all right um, shout out the game face studios We doing big things right now. Um, we, we got the members in. you know if anybody want to get in holla at me it's trying to get down, but uh, I'm out of here you guys peace